you're going to outwork all of them so that when they step off the field, they have no other choice. And if they choose not to, then you internally know that you did absolutely every single thing that you could do, including never doubting yourself. Because here's what's going to happen. Oh, let's fast forward 10 years. Let's fast forward to 24 year old. And there's going to be a job opportunity. There's going to be an internship opportunity. There's going to be an opportunity to meet somebody and build this and do that and do this and do that. Right. These are the times where no matter who tells you you can't, who tells you you shouldn't, who tells you you wouldn't, quite frankly, you tell them to pound sand, go for a walk, not you, not today, not tomorrow, not next week. You're good to go. Your name is O, and you're going to kick their booty out the dough. Like you just can't live any other way. I won't allow it. Right. The world, your whole life, Olivia Lewis, is going to tell you that you can't, that you shouldn't, that you can't go this way, that this is no good for you, that somebody else has got it, that I'm going to give it to this person, take it from you. That is what the world is going to tell you your whole life, my friend, my dear little Olivia, right? And for you to take the mentality of I'm already beat because one person, one person, one person on a planet of more than 7 billion said that it couldn't be so. No, that person may have control of who goes on the field, but he does not have control of my belief, my ability, my ability to move forward with my own conclusions of I am the best, I am going to get it, I am going to kick in the door, and if you don't see me shine, then you're not looking at my light. But I don't stop shining because somebody doesn't acknowledge my light. They're just not privileged enough to see me. Does that make sense?